often when people speak to the Scientologists or interrogate them or criticize them, um, they respond with this technique of bull baiting, which is uh, responding with no logical structure whatsoever, but just even shouting at the person or um, name calling. Oh, know. absolutely, yeah. Um, bull baiting is one of the is one of the TRs, yeah. Because I remember that what I was telling you, where you have to sit there absolutely still, and people can scream at you and shout at you. You've got to not react, right? In the case, look. Hubbard's view of people is that anybody who criticizes Scientology has criminal acts, undisclosed criminal acts, in other words, acts that he could be put in prison for. That's what Hubbard actually teaches you. So anybody who comes up and questions Scientology, the Scientologist immediately considers that person has a criminal act of which he could be imprisoned for. So what they're doing when you see the Scientologist doing that, what are your crimes? What are your crimes? Tell me your crimes. Or they're just accusing them of, say, pedophilia, right? Um, I think it was it Jenna Elfman, who was some reporter in Los Angeles, and she stopped her car and jumped out and says, have you raped a baby? Have you raped a baby? It's Jenna Elfman, the, the, the movie star, right? That's on YouTube, by the way, if anybody wants to verify that. Um, but that's the sort of thing that the Scientologist considers the non or anti Scientologist has done. It actually, that's what you believe. So the Scientologist, again, is part of the insulation of the Scientologist against the real world. I told you about the wise businessman, right? That's the World Institute of Scientology Enterprise, right? The, the acronym WISE. Um, and the general Scientologist insulated against critical thought by being made to believe that anybody criticizing Scientology is a criminal. And so they won't listen to you. Why would you listen to a criminal? Why would you listen to a pedophile? Why, why would you listen to a rapist? You see? And it's a very sneaky, clever mechanism. And most people wouldn't even dream of coming up with something like that. But Hubbard did says something about Hubbard, I suppose, really. Mm -hmm. But the Scientologists then, see, that's why I forget trying to um, get a Scientologist to see the light and see the truth in any kind of interview, because the fact that you are doing a critically, anal a critically analytical look at Scientology means that you have criminal acts that are undisclosed. And because Scientology is the truth, you're trying to attack the truth. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what you're seeing. Mm -hmm. That's the mechanism that you're looking at. It's an actual premeditated mechanism. Very effective. Yeah. Do you think that Scientology was in any way responsible for the death of John Travolta's son? I can only tell you from, being, from, from the child rearing I'm aware of, uh, I, I work with kids in, in Scientology, uh, I'm aware of the teachings of Scientology in terms of uh, uh, anything remotely related to neuroscience or psychiatric disorders, yeah. The, um, the Scientologist believes he is a Thetan, he's a spirit, he is not a body. This is an actual fundamental teaching, a fundamental belief, right? So that the thing that is doing the thinking, the thing that is doing the reasoning, the thing that is connecting up the dots in life and the world around you, like when you go, when you reach for the glass, right? It is not the brain and the nervous system working in concert to pick up the glass. It is the spirit, the thetan. Hubbard says that the brain is the realm, belongs to the realm of the psychiatrist, the degraded, bloody-handed, filthy, evil psychiatrist and psychologist, right? Uh, that's what the brain belongs to. And the brain has no function. Hubbard believes firmly and states that he gets Scientologists to believe that the brain has no function and the nervous system has no function. Yes, it's got nerves, that's just to say, well, fine, send messages up and down for, this, for the Thetan. The Thetan is sending all the electronic impulses up and down the nervous system. The brain is just a mush. There's a, there's a video which you see of Hubbard saying, this is brain, he's got this big spoon of porridge. 
you see. And he says, that's brain. He said, does nothing. So John Travolta's son, Jet, clearly from looking at videos of him, had some kind of severe um, nervous system or you know brain related illness. Uh, John Travolta's brother uh, is not a Scientologist and actually is an advocate for better investment in autism and, and research in the autistic children. He's the one who said that child Jet is autistic and he was furious at John Travolta for not carrying out the right intervention. Because if it, Scientology doesn't recognize autism, it doesn't recognize mental diseases like that and physical brain related diseases. It, 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 it believes that if someone has, has such a problem, it's because the spirit has a problem or there is spirits connected to the body, body thetans, which are psychotic and causing this behavior, you see. Um, so it's kind of like medieval mumbo jumbo. And so, the, so a, neuros, a, a neurologist never looked at that boy. He wasn't allowed to go near the boy. Um, Scientology has all kinds of, has people make all kinds of vitamin concoctions to deal with what we would term as actual mental disorders, you see. So look, all I can say is that the right kind of intervention would not have happened it could not have happened in the case of Jet Travolta. Um, and the signs, the actual huge body of uh, research and experience and uh, study and medical uh, advances that are available were not made available to the boy because of the belief of the parents. On the same order that the Jehovah's Witness will refuse a blood transfusion, a Scientologist will refuse any such intervention for any mental, mental disorder. All I know is the boy clearly had problems. He was having seizures. They never took the right proactive action to discover why was he having seizures because they wouldn't go to a psychiatrist. And the boy's dead. Now, I absolutely am I'm, uh, I'm terribly sorry. I, I empathize and I sympathize. I'm very, very. My heart goes out to the parents for losing their child. But on the same token, it's their belief in Scientology that I believe is why that boy is dead. And, you know, and I, you know, I know exactly what I'm saying here, and, I, and I'm saying I, I don't want to minimize the, their grief, but it is their lack of action due to Scientology and due to Scientology's beliefs that is why the boy is dead.